Controlled traffic farming, or CTF, is a whole of farm approach that creates soft, sponge-like soils with increased water holding capacity. It's built on permanent wheel tracks, where the crop zone and traffic lanes are permanently separated. CTF works by reducing compaction that prevents your plants from accessing moisture deep in your soil layer. Crops grow better in soft soil, and wheels work better on hard tracks. CTF isn't new. Australian farmers have been perfecting it for two decades. Extensive research and genuine grassroots results are guiding and improving CTF all the time in all soil conditions in all climate zones. Results are even better with a combination of zero-till, stubble retention and CTF. Changing to a no-till system gave one Wimmera grower an extra 50 mil of plant available water. Implementing CTF gave him another 25. That's 75 mil of extra moisture for his crops. Early adopters are convinced. They're getting consistent results, especially with limited soil moisture. Crops need soft soil, full of air spaces to follow the easiest path to nutrients and water. If soils are compacted, roots can't penetrate and grow sideways. Subsurface compaction caused by farm vehicles and machinery results in a layer of compacted soil between 10 and 40 centimetres deep. Growers using a standard setup of a 14 metre header, 15 metre seeding bar, 36 metre boom spray and a chaser bin not running on tram lines can travel over 50% of the paddock each season. As machinery sizes and weights increase, four tonnes over the past decade, compaction is becoming a greater problem. Class eight and nine headers are weighing in at 18 tonne dry and over 28 tonne fully loaded. Larger tractors, air carts and chaser bins regularly exceed 20 tonne. The great news is, compacted soils can be fast tracked to health by growing crops with deep penetrating root systems, such as tillage radish, corn, sorghum and safflower, and by adopting CTF. Once your CTF system's in place, you can do a one-off deep rip to break through the compaction layer. CTF is achievable for any grower operating an accurate two centimetre guidance system. It's all about configuring your gear to stay on the wheel tracks. With your sprayer being the widest, it determines the ratio. Setting up starts with a tape measure, graph paper and pencil. Decide if you're going metric or imperial, then head out to your shed and measure up your gear. Draw widths, wheels, nozzles and seating units to get your head around where everything is placed. Work towards maximising the crop growing area and minimising the track area and fit your wheels and axles to your CTF ratio. Consider residue management as well. The system can work if you have stock, hay, slopes and sandy soil. Farmers in all these scenarios are successfully running CTF. You don't need to trade in your gear and get new machinery. You can extend axles, use cotton reels, move tyres, remove jewels, change tyres, use auger extension kits or get a chaser bin catcher. With wheels and machinery widths aligned and working as a set ratio, reduced overlap can give savings of up to 10%. Early adopters have downsized their gear and are using disc seeders and using a lot less horsepower and fuel to put their crops in. Controlled traffic has three zones crop, wheel tracks and inter-row. Sowing the inter-row reduces the chance of stubble getting caught in your gear. It also improves germination, reduces risks of pathogens and nutrient toxicity and opens the door for up to 15% more yield. Fuel consumption can be up to 50% less and if you're getting 75 mil of extra moisture in a no-till CTF system you're increasing your yield potential. These are achievable benefits for your farm business. What's stopping you? The sooner you get on track with CTF, the sooner you can start building a more robust cropping system. You'll have access to more plant available water, even when conditions are dry, 
increase your yield potential and be on track for a better bottom line.